coaching subscriber video with the boy Differ, and we are in, um, you said you were in gold one. So uh, one thing you said you wanted to kind of work through was the movement, okay, bro? So we're going to go through, we're going to test the movement out. The first thing I want you to do is just have some normal gunfights with me, okay? Now, I am going to be prioritizing movement in my gunfights, and I want you to just try and kill me. The way you do it is up to you, okay? We've got the rival. We're going to go for about five to ten gunfights to try and kill each other, okay? And I'm going to show you how to use movement to kind of finesse in gunfights, okay? All right. Perfect. Whenever you're ready, let's start. So off the break, I'm going to go through. I'm going to jump across. And I'm simply going to say, okay, what can I do here? So he's up the left. I'm going to go get the high ground. I'm going to bait you in. And I'm simply going to jump down. Slide past you. So remember to watch the kill cam. First kill right there. What movement did I do? I want you to tell me. It's going to be like a little quiz. Every time I, I kill you, I want you to tell me what movement I use, okay? Fire cancel there. It's perfect. So that was actually the slide. Let's go through. Come towards Wait. me for a second. Let's stop for a second. Could you come towards me? And we're going to yep. fire through this together. So you're standing in the tunnel, right? So I want you, every time I kill you, I want you to repeat the movement I did and show you how it works. So stand here, please. Moving. So right now, if you turn around, perfect. Just stand here. So I'm in the tunnel right now. So yep. why, do you think the slide was a good mechanic or no here? Yeah. Yeah? Talk to me through it. Can you try it? Can you try and do it? Perfect. So what I did in this situation is very similar to you, but there's one difference. When you slid, you see how you slid just past and went forward? I now want yep. you to slide. But as you're sliding, I want you to move your right stick left. Okay. Right, right. I was and the, 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 yeah, and that's that's a big thing, right? So the slide is one part. It's not just about the slide, okay? It's about why are we sliding? Now think about it. Could you stand back in the tunnel for me? Stand back in the tunnel. I want you to kill me as I run across, okay? And this is how a normal slide is. Try and kill me. Right. Let's stop for a second. You see that? Like, there's no advantage from me, right? Because you, you basically got me weak. But if I was to do this... Now look, I'm in the same spot, but you're now weak. I have the health advantage, so I can now finesse you. You see the difference? So it's sure. not about the movement, it's about using it with the gunfight. So stand here, same thing. I want you to slide through and kill me. Three, two, one, now. A lot better, now let's try it again. So what went wrong there was slight centering issue, okay? So now we're gonna do it again. Now there's two ways you can do this, okay? The first is mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to simply slide past and get the shots off, right? Now that might not kill you, but it will get you weak enough and then you can re-challenge, okay? Very important, happy with that? That first option? Yep. So we're simply yep. trying to slide past to get the health advantage. Now, the second okay. thing is this. You can simply slide cancel. Now slide canceling yep. is kind of going for the kill while cameraing them. The only thing gotcha. with this situation is if I'm expecting it, there's a chance I could pre-fire you here and it might not work out. That's the only reason, because this is quite a tight area, right? I know that when you come through this door, I can see your whole body. Does that make sense? Because it's quite a tight yep. area. So that, yep. that's the only reason I went for the slide, because it gave me more opportunity. So this time I want you to do the same thing. This time I want you to simply slide cancel and just, just fry me. Very, very important. Focus on that sentry and that crosshair placement. That's all we're worried about right now. When you're ready, slide cancel and kill me, please. All right. Not bad, not bad. I'm watching kill cam. Could be better though. What do you think? Is that fair? Yeah, it could be better for sure. Could be, it could be a lot better there. Okay, so I'm watching the kill yeah. cam, and um, it actually looked better on my screen. When I watched the kill cam, it looked like your aim was a lot lower. So we're gonna try it one more time. And I don't mind if you slow it down a little bit. We're really working on that centering. So right now, when you're aiming, your aim was kind of down here. So what happens okay. is you then have to correct it up. Okay. This time, all I want you to do is this: start in position, level with me. Start in position right now to your chest. Moving. Run forward. As you're running forward, you press the slide button. That's it. Just do that for now. So don't move your right stick. So just run forward and press slide for me. Perfect. Now, as you're about to slide, okay? As you're about to slide, I want you to, when you press the slide button, move your right stick slightly left. So that at the end of your slide, at the end of your slide, you are f aiming inside this crate. You okay? jitter it or do you actually like try to smooth it? It's very, very minor adjustment. So I run, I just slide through, and I simply just move my right stick with me. So I'm using my left stick to move forward, okay? Then I'm sliding. But this is another thing. Look, look at the difference here. Could you stand inside for me? I want to, this is how it should look, okay? So I'm going through, I'm sliding. Even that wasn't, you know, I wouldn't do that slide. I'll normally slide past it, but just to show you the centering. You see how as I came around the corner, my, my crosshair yeah. was basically near your head. That's right. just the centering aspect of it, nothing else. So you just, it's very simple when you look at it. You just, you're simply just moving your crosshair forward, you're sliding. Uh -huh. And now as you're sliding, you obviously need to adjust your aim as well, right? Because you're you're moving, so you're not the same position. So that's all you need to do. So we need to you just adjust your aim. Perfect, I got you. Of course, I got you. 
a lot. That was 10 times better. Now, what I'm trying to do is get you to that level where you're doing that consistently. That should be your floor. I've not warmed up either. We're in the same position. That should be your floor, okay? Now, one thing okay. as well is, I think we spoke about this last time, and we really want to try to drill this into your head here, is this bit here, bro. You know when you're sliding? One thing you're doing is you're kind of, you're sliding and then you're snapping left, right? We're not trying yeah. to do a snap. So kind of what you said Actually, earlier, is it? So you it's want not to be really, gradual. There, that was what you just did there. Watch the kill cam for me. Watch the kill cam for okay. me. Okay. Look at your, your position. That was perfect. It looks like you're actually checking that corner. I want you to yeah, imagine sure. in real I want you to imagine in real life, okay? Imagine in real life that you were the soldier and you were trying to check that corner. You wouldn't run forward and then turn left, would you? You would kind of go at an angle. You'd kind of create that you'd kind of look while you're moving. You see where I'm coming from? Yeah. Like like for instance, if you actually turn over there, you wouldn't just run forward and then look left. That's very robotic. That's not really how it works. That's perfect. So it's like job. <laughs> there you go. You could do anything though. You could do whatever you want. In this situation, and this is a good thing, instead of doing what you just did. We could do the exact same thing. Instead of just slide, sliding past or slide cancelling, all I want you to do now is this. I want you to slide into a prone. Exact same thing. Do the same thing, slide into a prone. You're cameraing, you're centering everything the same. The only difference is instead of cancelling, you're proning. So, so prone there. So this time here, what I want you to do is I want you to slide. Now, when you would normally cancel, so we're, gonna, we're taking a bit slower today. Instead of... Like rushing through, we're just gonna go for it together. So when you're sliding, instead of pressing the cancel button, you would normally cancel here, right? I want you to instead cancel, kind of let go for a second, and then press the prone button. Okay, so it's a two-step program. So what we're doing, we're sliding into a prone. That's it. So slide into a prone. But what you're doing now, you're standing. We don't want to stand. We want to stay in the slide position. So let me show you how it looks. So imagine you're standing there, right? Okay. This, is what, this is what you're doing. Slide, cancel, prone. It's too slow. This is what I want you to do. Slide, prone. You see the difference? But you are see you... the difference or not really? Yeah, yeah I definitely see the difference. Yeah, what, okay, am, what button am I, am I so supposed to do Okay, let's my... go through it together. Let's stand here. Let's, let's, just, let's just slow it down. So right. let's just stand right here, please. So what we're going to do is this. This is what we, we want to slide uh, prone around this corner, okay? So first thing I want you to do is slide. That's it. I don't. When I say slide, I don't want you to cancel it. I want you to simply just slide, okay? It's very important. So this is slide. Okay. So stand next to me. So we're simply okay. just going to slide. That's it. Just slide. What? Okay. Perfect. That's it. Done. Now, can you and see it? There, there you go. So you see the difference? So what when, I you start, doing, when, I, when I stop, just drop. Exactly. Like but but what you exactly. But what you want to do, yes, that's okay. it. Now you want to time it when you drop. Now this is why it's really important. When I say like slide into the drop shot, what you were doing is you were slide cancelling. They're different terms, okay? Now I know it's, sometimes yeah, yeah, it's, no. it says loosely, so you have to be very careful with who you're talking to and stuff like that. Like if I said slide cancel into a jump, then that's slide cancel into a jump. You see the difference? But when we're yeah, saying slide, like in, slide and then exactly, drop. perfect. Now, it's very important. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's your fault because it makes sense. You would assume, oh, I've said slide cancel normally, right? This one's a different movement. We're sliding as so we're so landing is, into it's a It's really drop important shot. you know where your slide ends. Because exactly, you can... that's it, spot on. Because like you said, yeah. if I slide here, if I slide here and then drop shot, I'm out in the open. Could you yeah. stand on this head glitch for me, please? Could you stand Stay right away. here, please? Uh, just right here, please. Okay. Uh, just uh, on this side uh, where I'm standing, please. Perfect. So let me show you the difference. Okay. I want you to try and kill me. Now, this Am is the I first time. Uh, just stand on the head to try and kill me. Okay. All right. So, this is imagine if I over slid here and I'm out of the open. You see? I'm out of the open there. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to show you how I would do it. So, ready? Let's try again. All try right. and kill me. Okay. Reload your gun, stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, just do it again. I want, I want to see if you can actually kill me from that position. The main oh, thing man. is I'm going to show you an angle that's not very easy for you to predict. So let's go through that again. Stand on the tech glitch. Now, one thing, again, just a bit of feedback, a side note, not related to the movement, but what we went through earlier, strafing. You should be a lot more alert here. Now, just as a side note again, I told you to start shooting me, right? When I'm yeah. going through this area here, you should be shooting me. There's no reason why you shouldn't shoot me as I'm going through, okay? Even up like back there, huh? So again, very, very clear in terms of when I say I want you to kill me, I want you to do everything in your arsenal to kill me, okay? I don't I don't gotcha. want you to I want you to be out of the box. If you if you kill me somewhere I didn't want you to, that's fine. We can kind of go through it again and say, oh, I didn't mean like that. That's fine. But when I say to kill me, I want you to be like, right, I'm gonna kill Og and use my creativity. I want to show him my creativity here, okay? So let's stop for a second. So right now I'm starting here. 
Now, I I don't think this is the best way to do this gunfight. I'll show you after, but just to show you this movement in a gunfight, we're going to use it. So I'm simply going to go through and try the movement, and I want you to try and kill me, okay? Reloading. Let's go. Let's go. Now, what's yeah. the kill come? Now, in an actual gunfight, that is a great way to commit because no one's really going to expect that. You're probably going to think I'm going to the head glitch or I'm out jumping in the in the open. You're not going to expect that little little prone drop shot, okay? That's great. What do you think about, um, yeah, so far, happy with that? Yeah. Good, good, good. So, uh, out of the two movements... Sorry, my, yeah, anyways, yeah. So, out of the two movements so far, you can see straight away, just, it's about understanding it's one, but actually applying it is different. So, when I said to you, you said, look, I'm having problems with my movement, I think the problem you're having is actually just applying it in-game. I think you know what you're doing. It's just about slowing it down and practicing it, okay? Yeah? Yep. My, my thing is, like, and the only time I ever really get fried is when I get those lobbies with those guys that are, like, they're basically like you that just, like, don't stop moving and yeah. they jump <laughs> around like crazy. And again, it's one of those where, if you're thinking about it, like, we're taking our time, we're going through the sliding, so you're getting your like, third go, right? But when they're like, they, they know their movement, they're running around, they're like frying you like that, you're like, oh my God, what the hell? Like, so it's just a yeah, pacing yeah. thing, which is fine. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just a pacing thing, which is fine. You have to be like, okay, I need to see how I can get to that level. And the way I look at it is this. I look at who's the best shooter in the game, Dashy. How many bots does he shoot? He shoots probably like, I'm just guessing, like 500 a day. I'm just guessing a number here. Um, it could be yeah. less, could be more, right? Now, if I don't shoot any bots, let's say I don't shoot any bots, in a week's time, he shot 3,500 bots, and he's already ahead of me. So if he's, if he's snapping like that, like, why am I confused? It's obvious. He's practicing his craft. So now you need to look at that and say, right, if I actually want to get to this level, Dash is shooting 500 bots. I need to simply do more than him because I'm behind him. Now, right now, if you're shooting 20 bots and there's people frying you, you're not doing enough because they're ahead of you. See what I'm coming from? Yeah, oh yeah. Just the mindset of, okay, let me just outwork them and, and work smarter. Okay, bro, let's move on to some new drills. So we went through that one for quite a bit. I'm just going to simply carry on with some gunfights, try and kill you. Same thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do different movements. Every time I kill you, I want you to tell me, right, what movement did I do? What mechanic and stuff like that, okay? Whenever you're ready, let's go. So right now I'm going through. I'm trying to find you. So again, make sure to, if you watch the kill cam, let me know what you see. Okay, so I'm going across. Now you're weak. You're slightly weak. I'm going to jump across. Now you're one shot. I'm just going to chow you. Yeah, so what I did there, me. watch the kill cam. That was an insane movement, but it was good positioning for me, right? I was controlling the gunfight. You see how I shot you, backed away, shot you, backed away? I was simply controlling the gunfight. Let's keep going. This time I'm going to try. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try a... Uh, I'm going to try some movement here. I'm going to try one of those jumps. So let's see what we can do. We're going to keep going. Okay, so where is he? Okay, so I see you're kind of backing away here. Good Four. centering. So watch the kill cam. Talk to me. How do you think that centering was there? For me or you? For me. Really good. Yeah? Why? Because I saw the minimap. I saw where you were going. I saw you were jumping up top there. Now, let's go through. Come back towards me. In this situation, you're getting caught out quite a lot. So we need to see what's going on here. So first things first... How is your minimap awareness in this situation? In this free throw against me with the minimap on, are you constantly looking at it or what's going on there? Yeah, I've gotten better with it, you good. know, since we started. Since we started, but like with, it's hard to, like, I've, I don't watch it as much with me and you. I do, yeah. but like, I, I mean, we're moving so fast. I'm, I'm yeah. worried about getting killed. So I kind of, I, 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 I would I rather at you it, but... get killed while looking at your minimap if you're getting used to it, because for me, it's such a skill to have. It's like, it's literally like painting the picture. So I know exactly where you are based on the minimap. And I know exactly what yeah. angle to take and stuff like that. So I have such a big advantage. Let's uh, yeah. mix okay. it up a little bit. Let's get the MCW up. Mm. Yeah, let's, um, let's try some drills here, okay? So we went through a few movement things. Now we're just simply gonna go through controlling and winning the gunfight. Could you find a head glitch on the game for me, please? Anywhere on the map. All right. I'm over here. Okay, so I just put a fan on. It's really hot in there. Perfect. So, where are you? Okay, so that's a headshot you want to start. Where would you like me to attack you from? All right, um, perfect. This is a good draw. Actually, I've done this one before. Those pipes, I guess. I don't know. Where I'm, I'm going to come from here, okay? Now, right. very important. You have five attempts. We have five attempts to kill each other, okay? Your starting position okay. is here. When you say go, so when I say go, when I say go, we both can kill each other without equipment. That's it. The only rule is no equipment. I can run away. You can run away, okay? Now, every time I kill you, I want you to watch a kill cam, and I want you to think, okay, what can I do to win this situation? So first things first, talk to me through. What can you do to prepare here? 
you know where I'm standing right here. I'm standing behind this barrier. So what can you do? What's your first thought, sir? I'm aim right here. Sight. Talk to me through it. Aim, aim down sight and strafe. Perfect. Aim down sight and strafe. Now, one thing I speak about is pre-aiming head glitches, okay? So right yeah. now, if I was to ask you, where is the most common place I would push? Where would you say? Can you pre-fight it for me? Perfect. Explain why is that the most common place? Because uh, you're on the mini-map right there around the corner. Perfect. And it's a head glitch, right? And most of the time, I'm going to go to a head glitch. So yeah. I know that. So there's two things I could do. One is this. Do you see that? You won't really expect yeah. that, right? And the other right. one is this. The other one is this. Uh, What's kill cam? You see? So the first thing I'm thinking of is, okay, what off angle can I play to make it harder for my opponent to kill me? That's my first thought process. So first, we're going to go through the, the theory side of it. Then we're going to actually apply it. So come back to this head glitch, please. So one thing I would do if I was you, okay, is not be very static. I wouldn't just stand on this head glitch. Now, in theory, it looks like it's a good spot, right? It looks like, oh, I'm actually in a good spot behind a head glitch. The problem you have is because of cameraing in Call of Duty, right? If I jump up like this, if I, if I get peekers advantage like this, I can shoot you before you see me. That's the whole point of cameraing. I can see you, I can shoot you and back you off. So you actually want to be a bit more mobile. So one thing I want you to do is strafe this a bit more, okay? Now, okay. when you aim in and out, could you, could you do this for me? Could you aim in and out and strafe? And you move so much faster. Okay, now right now, what's faster? This is one. If you look at me for a second, or what's faster? One yep. or two or two? Yeah, yeah, two. Yeah, so, do you know how to do that? Am I doing it? Does it look uh, right? give me, uh, Kill me while you're doing it so I can see. Yeah, it's not bad. A little bit star tree. Could be, a, could be a little bit smoother, but again, that takes time. That's fine. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's not that bad. So now the reason we're doing that is so that you can, again, have a bit more mobility, okay? So we're going to try it. I want you to kill me. You know what? To... I didn't use the right stick at all. Let me do the right stick and see if that's better. So you want to move your left stick mainly, okay? Your left stick is the main thing. You want to move your left stick, and then your right stick is just adjusting it with you. Right. Okay? Okay. But for now, wherever's comfortable, yeah. Like you said, you don't want to. Do, you never just want to use one stick. The left stick's a must. The left stick's a guarantee. You want to use it for rotation aim assist. The right stick is simply just correcting your centering and your aim. So what we're going to do now is I want you to kill me. We have five attempts. When you're ready, let me know. Okay. All right, let's go. What's your kill count? <laughs> I'm still looking the wrong way. <laughs> so right there, what I do, I jumped up, centering. So for me, you were too slow to react there. You need to be quicker. Now, I gave it away. I was standing there. So if we come yeah. through, come towards me. This is the most important thing. Stand here next to me. There's a difference if you come right here. There's a difference on the minimap. When I'm standing here, there is a very high chance I'm going to peak the head glitch. Stand right there in that corner for me. Think okay. about it. Look at the minimap now. Look at the mini Look how close we are. So if I was the enemy, I'd say, okay, I'm going to be near the head glitch, okay? I'm not going to jump up here, am I? Because I'm out of the open. But where was I standing? I was standing here. Look at the difference. Could you stand here for me? For you. You were here. Okay. I was standing here. Look at the difference on our minimap right now. Look, it's, it's different, right? So you should yeah. know, okay, Arv is further back. Now, what does that mean? Does I wouldn't that mean... even look at the minimap. So you were right go. here the whole and time? Exactly. And that's the key thing. The fact that you just said I wasn't looking at the minimap. So I knew yeah. where you were. I knew you were on the left side. So all I did is this. Could you, could you jump up when you're ready? I want you to look at the minimap. Don't do any first. I want you to look at the minimap. Based on the minimap, I want you to jump up and center on and kill me. Based on only the minimap. Okay. Go. Go for it. Okay, has to be quicker. Uh, right. So I'm watching that. How was your centering there? It wasn't bad, but it needs to be quicker. Uh, I was a little, a little slow on the centering. Let's try that again. Now, pretty good centering. But yeah, just, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Was, Dude, you're right. It wasn't bad. The shot, but the, the, shot, problem, the, was bad. the problem is this. The problem is this. By the time you jump up, by the time I react, I can kill you. So you don't want to let me react. So your big thing you want to do there is this. As you're jumping... Yeah, I was probably, I was slower because I, I was jumping from the ground. You jumped from this thing in the middle. Exactly. It's so just little adjustment. So one thing is, first of all, you're standing up here. As you're jumping, move your right yep. stick up. I want you to center. So as you, it's like the thing earlier. Remember when I said when you're sliding, what do we do? When you're sliding, you fix your centering. Yep. Right? Same yep. thing here. When you're jumping, fix your centering. So I'm standing in the exact same spot. I want you to jump up and fry me. Back away, do it again. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that again. Same thing. How was that now? Better. Better? I'm watching the kill cam. That was a lot better. Now, did you notice straight away your aim was a lot higher than it was before? And it was just so much easier to adjust. Okay? Yeah. Now, same thing. I'm not going to tell you where I'm standing. I always look at the minimap and figure it out and then kill me. All right. 
Same thing. Go. Wait, way too long there. Look, I got away. Way too long. Okay, it says two again. I'm going to go to a different spot. The goal is for you to look at the minimap, the minimap only, and be able to kill me. As soon as you jump up, be able to kill me. As soon as you get come up, fry me. Use, let me give you a tip. Let me give you a tip. When you use the minimap... Why, did, why can I not tell you are on top of something? Uh, because you're on a level as well right now. So I was on the same level. You're in a bit of a weird spot because you're not high or low. And I was like, it's just, I was only on a little high ground. It wasn't like I was on the top of the roof. It's like your whole body has to be higher. Now, right now, you're on high ground. You see the arrows down for me? Down, okay. okay. Yeah. But if you think about yep. it, you said that. But look at the minimap right now. Can you see the truck shape? You see this truck shape? You can yeah, see my, that I guess I'm there, so though. far away. I'm so far away. I don't see the truck good until I'm here. No, but it's the shape of the truck. It's the shape of you know it. what I'm saying. I can I cannot even see that truck. So I'm saying from where I'm at. Yeah. I can't see. The, I can't see that truck. No, you're right. You can't. But you can see roughly where the aim is. Right. You can see roughly where I am. And it's more oh, yeah, like the I direction. See, I can see the dot. And then yeah. when I get there, you up go. Exactly. Here, yeah. Can, so yeah, my job yeah. is to get you to judge the dot and have good sentry just on that. Okay. Let's try one more time. When you're ready. Try and kill me. As soon as you get up on me, snap on me. All right. That's all. So compared to the start of the session, it's completely better. Now, yeah. can you see how you're using the minimap to help you out? Now, yeah. it's completely different to not using it, right? Because then you're going up and you're adjusting yourself and you're taking your time. So this time, that's how I killed you the first time. So every time I kill you, I'm showing you the theory behind it. So I've, I've had 12 kills and every time I've showed you the theory behind it. And this just comes down to practice. When I'm explaining it to you, these aren't really things I think about, to be honest with you. These are things that are natural now, just because of how many years I've been playing. When I explain sure. it, it's actually, it's like, oh, I, the reason I know that is because I've done this a thousand times. So it's going to take you time to do every single mechanic to get to that level, which is fine. Okay. Same yeah. thing. I'll wait to start back on the head glitch. 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> start back on the head glitch. When you're ready, same thing. Any questions so far? Happy with what we went through? Uh, no. Nope. Perfect. Okay. Let's keep going through. Okay. So, mini map awareness. I see if you've got it right now. I'm going to go through. Mm -hmm. You shot me through the truck? You kind of peeked there. That's not the main problem. The main problem again is I got through out in the open without you shooting me. We need to be way more aggressive there in terms of like. The map pressure. Let's come back to the technique. Just go through that same drill. Where I ended up going was this. Come with me, please. So, talk okay. to me through. Were you looking at the mini map here or not? Yeah, I was. Okay, perfect. So, when you saw me here in this vent, you saw me in this little room. What does that mean? It means I'm in this vent. I can only come out of two ways. Come with me. I can either come out of here or I could come out. If you come with me again, I could come out of the high ground. Now, even if you don't know the map, let's just say you don't know the map, you can still see just from where you're standing that these are the only options, okay? So, as you, as I came out of here, you should have been what? Pre-aiming me. Why? Because you saw you should have been centered onto me there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, Could again, you come back towards me? Can you can you just... I'm going to look I'm at just a mini-map. Can you just run through yeah, that drill sure. again? I'm going to watch you. I'm going to sure. watch what it looks like. So, right now, I'm so in... I, that's fine. Right now, I'm inside this middle. Right now, I'm inside this middle. You see, right okay. now, I've got high ground. So what does that mean? So it means I've jumped. It, so it, it, shows, it shows me you went high, okay. There you go. So now I jump out. You should be there. pre me. That's it. You should be there already. So you could definitely see oh. that. There's no doubt you can't okay. see that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. watching that. No now look at the difference okay. now when we slow it down. So this is the same thing. Imagine I was going through and I jump up like this. You should have already shot me as I jumped down. And when I'm standing in the open, I should be dead here. And that was the main thing I wanted to see. I wanted to see how you react to it, okay? I know it's a little bit far away in the map, but you can still paint the picture of where roughly they're coming from. Oh, I was up yeah. top. It looks like he's coming through there. I should pre-aim that area. Yeah? Okay. Perfect. Same situation. This time I'm starting from here. Okay. I want you to, when you're ready, try and kill me. When you're ready, try and kill me. So I want you to see what I can do. I'm going to back away. Instantly, I'm going to go through. I'm going to go across. I'm going to camera you. Appreciate What's you. Kill? What's the kill cam? What's the kill cam? Was there any strafing no. from you? Was there any movement from you? No. No, hell so, no. So it's easy for me to kill you, right? Yeah. Why? Because we're going to have to jump around the corner, and that's it. Throw you. Because I'm not moving. Exactly. Give me one okay. second, okay? One second. Yeah, take your time.
out of back. But yeah, again, it's not like you know what you're doing, but I need you to focus on actually applying it. Because like that right there you saw, you knew where I was and you just stood here. You just stood here and let me camera you. So yeah. let me ask you a question. Stand here, please. Mm -hmm. Look where your body died. Stand right where your body was. You Don't know you? I'm around here, okay? Let's just say yeah. I'm here. For me to kill you, I have to go through where? Pre-fire it for me. Okay. So why are you allowing me to do this? Why are you allowing me to jump through the gap and camera you? You should be, first of all, holding the angle so that I'm not. you're not allowing me to push through. The second thing you're doing, standing here, right? You got to remember, when you're pre-aiming, it's good. Like, you're pre-aiming. If I run out like this, you would kill me. But when I camera you like this, if I was to camera you like this, I'm going to hit that first shot. So you need to, st one, put pressure on me. As, I, as soon as I come out, as soon as I'm jumping out, you should be shooting me and not letting me get through for free. That's the one thing I need to work on, is just applying more map pressure, okay? The next thing is creating angles. Let me show you what I mean. This is a perfect example. Could you stand where you're standing, okay? So this is spot one. Where you're standing now is spot one, right here, okay? This is spot one, and spot two is on your right. Spot two is over there. Happy with that? Stand spot one for yeah, me, please. So, so when, you, when you come out, I need to be on spot two. We'll stand in spot Great. one for now, but you're absolutely right. But this is the point. So right now, can okay. you see me? Yep. No, I can see you. Yeah? Try, try shooting me from there, from spot one. Now, now shoot me from spot two. Uh, so I haven't moved, gotcha. but you gotcha. have created a wider angle for yourself. And that's what it's very important to do. Now, when you did okay. that, again, when you did that, your centering was really bad there in this situation. I know it's just a drill, but we need you to always be ready. We need you, the way you're practicing is the way you're going to play. Look, let me show you what I mean. Stand there where I was, please. My centering is bad there? Uh, in terms of the when you're moving from spot one to spot two, the transition. Let me show you what you did. So watch skill cam. Maybe. Come out a little bit. You're, you're stand, stand back here. No, no, stand back here. Stand, yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to show you exactly what you did, okay? This is what you did. Watch the kill cap. When you went from spot one to two, did you notice how you, you didn't just move right? You shifted your whole body and re-centered and did everything all again, right? You kind of like, you didn't need to do all of that. Let me show you what I mean. You, you need to remember, bro, when you're moving from one spot to another, your centering has to maintain where it is. Just in case this, let me show you the problem. When you're moving from spot one to two, what if I do this? What if when you move right, can you just look right for a second? Imagine look you look what? right. Uh, just look right. Just look right. Look, like, look right here. Okay, like how were you going from spot one to spot two? Like, what were you doing? You were looking right and moving uh, slowly, right? No, I went like this. I ducked and went down. I don't think that's down. what I saw. When I saw you, it was like this. You kind of looked right and you went like this. Your centering was like down here for a second. Oh, really? Basically, it wasn't as smooth as it should be. That's kind of the main point, right? When you're transitioning, it should be like this. You should be... Could you stand in front of me, please, in that uh, original spot? Oh. Yep. Now, again, this might be... You're not realizing, which is fine, but this is, again, what I'm seeing, which is important, because there's things that you're maybe not picking up on. So stand in that corner in the room. Uh, Yeah, perfect. Right, uh, Move a little bit towards me. Yeah, perfect. Stand right there. So right now, when I'm going from spot one, okay, to spot two, I'm still kind of transitioning the same spot i wait to watch the kill cam i'm moving right but i'm not losing my centering and everything is similar but when i watch you do it you went you kind of aimed out you looked right moved right and then snapped back left again so you had to recenter and recorrect your aim does that make sense yeah yeah, yeah go back to that corner i'll show you exactly how it looked and then this is what i want you to work on at all times so just stand here please this is the most important thing we have 10 seconds let me quickly show you this is what you did okay so yeah i couldn't see him What's gotcha. the kill Look at that little transition. That Those extra two or three seconds, I know it doesn't seem like much, but it's, mm -hmm. that's everything. That is literally the difference in a gunfight. Because when you're moving, you're now having to recenter. You know, Your crosshair is fine. Look, look at the kill cam with me. Your crosshair is fine. We're not supposed to, look, look, look at this. As soon as I shoot you, look, look, you see how I went right and then back left? I don't need to do that. All I need to do is move right slightly and still have my centering onto you. Okay, in that situation, because it's such a small distance. You don't need to move your whole body. And that's kind of the difference in that scenario. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, yeah, let's go through and um, go through the, the VOD session. But YouTube, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Drop a like if you didn't. I'll catch you guys from on tomorrow. Peace.